We are back with the Utah Utes NCAA Basketball Dynasty. Tonight, we're going on the road to take on the one and one Cleveland State Vikings. In our last episode, we took on Oral Roberts playing our first game of the regular season, which we did go win. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. But in tonight's episode, only one game before we head on to our first tournament, or I guess our only tournament this season, hopefully before March, but it'll be the Old Spice Classic. We're taking on Xavier in the first round. We don't know who our next opponent in that tournament, of course, will be but this will be the final game for us before we head to that tournament we're going to sim out until we get there and also folks make sure to go check out the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty mode we have the SEC championship game go up yesterday number eight Ole Miss taking on number four Tennessee but for tonight we've just got one game it will be Utah and Cleveland State we're going to be sim Utah's next game where they will be at home against George Mason trying to pick up a win here on their first road game of course of this 2022 college basketball season so Cleveland State I only put two of their players in real life on this roster but that's a nice slam right there by Cleveland State he's not one of them but it's going to be Tory Patton he wears number 24 um he is one of the guards I guess on this team he plays some forward as well and then Des Moines Hodge as well, wearing number 55. As Laser Stefanich gonna get on the board for Utah to start this game, it'll be two to two. As Stefanich gonna kick it out to Marco Anthony. He had a real nice game in our last one against Oral Roberts, but that shot will be off. Cleveland State back with the ball. They're gonna kick it to one of their guards. He's gonna go up with it and one. The foul is gonna be on Roly Worcester. I think we're gonna be going really with this eight man rotation. It's gonna be the starters, so of course, Worcester, Madsen, Stefanich, Anthony, um, and Carlson. And then off the bench, we're gonna, of course, be playing some Booth Gotch, you're gonna play, be playing some DJJ, David Jenkins Jr. as Stefanj is gonna get blocked. Worcester though is gonna go up with it and he will hit the mid-range shot. And I think we're gonna be playing some Dusan Morsik. We'll see and wait on how he plays, but he'll be getting some minutes I think in this game, then maybe Lahat Thiun, I'm not sure as in the corner, Marco Anthony, a big shot right there. This one will now be nine to seven with Cleveland State getting the ball back here. Torrey Patton working it up. Court Patton looking to his right, he'll dump it off, Stefanich. They're going to call that goaltend on Stefanich. So it's a four-point lead for Cleveland State. Back with the ball here. Kicking it out is the center. He'll look to his left. Actually, that was the forward going to the center. Back inside, though, the finish. That ball will be blocked. I think that was Carlson who got a hand on it. Here comes Utah on the break. David Jenkins Jr., the former Jack Rabbit for three. Bang! And also UNLV Rebel. He's on both those squads. It's 11 to 10 now. Booth Gotch with it. By the way, he's got a YouTube channel. He vlogs, apparently. Collab, maybe? I don't know. Hey, I'm down. But Booth Gotch is going to kick it to Marco Anthony. Anthony's going to hit the three. We will now go up by two. It is 13-11. Cleveland State, though, back with it. Going back inside. The big man's going to finish with the right. This one's all knotted up at 13. Cleveland State's now going to hit a free throw. They're up by one. But that's going to be a turnover right there. David Jenkins is going to force it. Here comes Booth Gotch on the fast break. Gotch with the left. It's gone. Booth Gotch is going to finish, and Utah goes up by one at 15 to 14, but here come the Vikings in the corner. That shot's going to be blocked. It was Hodge trying for something. His teammate, though, is going to get the rebound going up with it. The fader, and Des Moines Hodge gets it back, and he'll put it up. Cleveland State goes up by one, but Utah now have retaken the lead. Booth Gotch has got it in the corner. He'll look to drive. He'll bounce past it to the hot few, and he's going to miss, but he's got his own board. Few and going back up with it. He's got it. So Utah goes up by three at 19 to 16. Now it's a three point game, still 21 to 18. David Jenkins Jr. You're gonna take it up court. Jenkins looking, he'll pull for three. Bang! DJJ with the second three of the ball game. Utah goes up by six. Cleveland State though, back with the ball here. Hodge gonna go up against Stefanich. It's off with the rebound. It is David Jenkins. Two minutes go here in the first half. Coach Dana White is telling us to win these last two minutes. And Marco Anthony goes up with two. Utah's up by 7, 26 to 19. No one's scoring on Stefanovic right now. On the board, it is Gabe Madsen. Madsen to Roley Worcester. Worcester's gonna drive in. He'll go up with the left. He's gonna sink the layup. And Utah now goes up by nine here in Cleveland with eight seconds to go in the first half. Cleveland State down by seven. Can they put up one more shot? That one will fall. And the Vikings will cut the lead to five as we head into the second half. The Utes up by five points again, 28 to 23. It's been the three-point shooting, honestly, that has been the story of this game. Brandon Carlson still yet to get going. He's struggling in the Oral Roberts game, and honestly, he is struggling again in this one, but it's the three-point shooting again out of Utah is what's been key. Of course, out of our two three-point shooters, I would say, in Anthony and Dave. David Jenkins Jr. So yeah, Utah with the lead here on the road, trying to hold as we head now to the second half. Let's see if we can get it done. 
So as we get now into the second half, Utah only has a three-point lead. Their largest in this game was nine. Marco Anthony's going to turn the ball over right there. Here comes Des Moines Hodge. Hodge going to go in, and he's going to finish with the right. And the Cleveland State Vikings on an eight to nothing run have closed the gap. It's a one point game. Booth Gotch gonna pull up for three, it's off. Dusan Mohorsic though with the board and the Serbian beast has got it. He's gonna get the lamp to fall. Utah goes up by three. 10 and change left to go. Here come the Vikings on offense. Driving is Tory Patton. Patton's gonna go up with the right and he'll get that one to fall. It's a one point lead again for the Utes. Here comes Tory Patton though, back with it. He's gonna take it up, Core Booth Gosh, giving this man zero respect on his shot. Cleveland State gonna now swing it, now back inside. That one's good by the big, and the Vikings go up by one. 30 to 31. Now Utah scores, so they're back up by one. Here comes Tucson Mohorsic. Mohorsic to Gotch. Booth Gotch back to Mohorsic. The hop step, he's got it. What a finish by Tucson Mohorsic. It puts Utah back up by three points with Cleveland State getting it back. Eight minutes to go. Here comes Torrey Patton driving in, kicking it outside. They're setting up for a shot. Demoy Hodge with Laser Stefanovic on him. He's going to give it back to his forward. Back to Hodge. Bang! Demoy Hodge with the three. Cleveland State ties this one up at 36. Eight minutes left to go. It's now 38 to 36 game. Utah's at top. David Jenkins Jr. trying to extend the lead. He'll give it to Carlson. Brandon Carlson's first field goal of the game is going to go with the dunk. Utah up by four, 40 to 36. Here comes Demoy Hodge though. Trying to get it back to Cleveland State. He'll look to finish with the left. It is going to be good. Cleveland State cuts the lead to two. It's 40 to 38, but here comes the Utes. Now all knotted up at 40. Mohorsic going to draw the double, kick it out to Stefanovic. Stefanovic back up top. Marco Anthony's been pretty much quiet since that first half. He'll give it to Mohorsic. Mohorsic to Stefanovic. Stefanovic to Anthony. Bang! Big three out of Marco Anthony. The wall movement for Utah. Puts him up by three with six minutes to go. Now David Jenkins for three. He's going to hit one of his own. David Jenkins Jr. with the huge three puts Utah up by six with six minutes left to play. Here driving in is Torrey Patton. Patton misses, but he gets his own board. He's rejected and another block by Utah. The defense is stepping up. Utah's up by six, now by five with five minutes to go. Marco Anthony back with the ball here. Going for three, Marco Anthony lights out. Marco Anthony for three puts Utah up by eight. It's 49-41. Still four minutes to go. Booth Gotch has got it again. Gotch on the lob. Carlson. Oh, he's got it. Utah's going to go up by 10 here on the road with 4.30 left to go. Now with three minutes left, it's a seven-point lead for Utah. Anthony, oh my goodness. Oh, Marco Anthony's going to pull up for three. He's feeling it now. Utah's up by 10. We're just in need of a couple more stops. This game's over. David Jenkins now in the fast break. Lock it in. Oh, he's going to finish with two. Utah's up by 12 with three minutes to go. I mean, I think this one's close to over, but here comes Cleveland State, though, still fighting with three minutes to go. 10-point game. It is still doable now. Down to eight. Two minutes to go. Mark Anthony for three. Oh, he's going to hit it again. Dead eye right there. Right in your face, Marco Anthony. Going to put Utah now up big. It's a nine-point game with 90 seconds left. We're going to leave him open for three here. Driving in. It is going to be good. Still seven-point game, though. Utah with 53 seconds left. Marco Anthony going to kick it to Brandon Carl. Carlson, Carlson going to work it inside through the contact. He will finish. Utah's up by nine with just 48 seconds to go. Cleveland State will call a timeout. Advancing the ball here. They're going to give it to their guy right now, Demoy Hodge. Hodge to his left. Back to Hodge. Oh, it's going to be intercepted or just... I mean, it's a turnover by Cleveland State, and that should do it with 12 seconds left. Marco Anthony, the guy who's been really leading this team so far in this season, is going to dribble it out. David Jenkins, no respect for the Hall of Fame. CPU is going to miss the three, but still, Utah is going to win this one by eight, barring this three. We should cover the spread as well, I would imagine. It would probably be less than eight. I don't know. Utah, Cleveland State, who knows? But again, the Utah Utes go on the road. Marco Anthony's going to drop 20 points for this Utah squad. Five rebounds as well. And win it for the Utes on the road. They remain undefeated in this 2021 season. Our next game will be actually tomorrow night in game time. Of course, right now in the game, Utah's in Cleveland. They're going to go back to Utah for their very next game against George Mason. We're not going to show that one here in the channel. Of course, show you the box score. But we got to, you know, I can't play all. 30 games every season it's just not 
not the best if we're trying to get through a couple seasons in this damn thing. So we're gonna skip over that game. Um, maybe I'll play it, maybe I won't, I don't know. But we're just trying to get to the Old Spice Classic after this, taking on Xavier. We are the number one seed going into that tournament. Hopefully we can go out there and win it. We'll see you though, folks, in the next episode again, our tournament to start off the season with the Old Spice Classic. It will be Xavier and Utah. You're not gonna wanna miss it, folks. Thank you God for watching episode number two of the Utah Utes Dynasty Mode here on NCAA Basketball 2010. Again, if you have not yet, make sure that subscribe button down below for more. And Mamba, forever.